Hey guys, so I've got uh, several requests to do a video on how to build in Minecraft and then bring it into Blender. And I'm just going to create a world in Creative and start building. Okay. I'm just going to go and fly over to an empty space and then we'll start building. Alright, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I'm just going to go ahead and just build some kind of building and show you that it's um, possible to bring in to Blender and then you can take that and put it into your um, game engine. So if you're using like Unity or Unreal Engine or Small Game Builder, stuff like that. I'll show you how to get it there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a time lapse from here and I'll get back to you when I'm done building. Alright guys, that's it. And all you need to do is go ahead and uh, save and quit to title and then go ahead and quit the game. Now you want to open your browser and go to Mineways. Um, yeah, I just did a Google search and pulled it up. And then you just want to go ahead and download um, this first button here if you scroll down you can kind of see they did something similar um, and that's what they built so if you're good at building stuff in Minecraft you can bring in some cool stuff okay so I've downloaded it and extracted it and let me close these windows and we're here in the mine waste folder um, you just want to go into it and you can kind of see what's in there. Let's switch the view to detail so we can see better. Um, here, this is what we're going to be looking for. So it's this file here. You just want to double click it and open it. And it'll open up the Mineways program. It's going to give you probably this message. You click that, go ahead and run it anyway. And this is what you get. And so automatically it's going to if you go here it's going to show all the worlds that you have so just remember what your world was called and then go into here and bring it in so this is what I had saved mine and we're going to open it and it loads the chunk there and what you can do give it a second there you go so if we zoom in with the mouse wheel we can see this is my the building I was building right there and so if you click and drag you let go and you'll get this pop-up window um, telling you it's gonna auto select um, for right now I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna hit cancel but you can do it I'll do it I do that sometimes uh, and then you can mess with these two bars so the height and the depth one is the top one is the bottom and you just kinda mess with them and um, depending on which way you slide them the map will show and so it'll cut off layers so see when I drag it that's the layer that you're gonna get so what I want to do is you know scroll down to where I can see the roof of my house right there and then I just mess with the bottom layer and I kinda guess to what the bottom was or hit the automatic and then just mess with the top but we're just gonna select it there let me just talk let me mess with this and then we're gonna hit and I'll show you how to export next. Okay, didn't change it much. And so now you want to go to File and Export. Now you'll see there's this rendering and then there's this 3D printing. If you do 3D printing, it'll show STL, but you can still go and click on OBJ. Uh, I meant Shapeways, but you can see STL is there too. So let's go ahead and just export it out. I'm just giving it some generic name. 
and then um, just uh, go ahead and copy I'm gonna free I'm gonna go ahead and select what's what is recommended to select and then I'll pause it and you can look okay here it is if you need to pause the video go ahead and do so and then continue after all right, so we went ahead and did that. We get this message. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, I forgot I exported for 3D printing instead of rendering. So it kind of tells you the materials and what it's gonna cost and all that. So I'm just gonna hit, it's fine, you can cancel that out. So now we're gonna open up Blender and let's bring in what we exported and look at it to see what it looks like. Okay, we're in Blender. I'm going to go ahead and file import OBJ and you don't see it, but it's because it's huge. And so if I zoom out, you see there it is. Uh, another thing you'll notice is it's on its side. So we're just going to go ahead and press S to scale it down. I'm just going to bring it down to about, mm, about there. And then I'm going to apply the look, control A, apply the scale. And now I'm going to rotate it on the X axis. Um, and then you can see it has that big chunk. Uh, let's bring it down a little bit more. Going to apply all the scale and rotation. And there's your building. Now if you go into edit mode, you can see each little square. Um, we'll, we'll go into color, you see it brought in the texture. So if you want to do animations, this is perfect for that. You know, you can make your buildings and then bring in your characters and then, you know, animate them and render out a scene. Um, I actually did that too. It was the first time I did it, so it's not that great. If you guys want to see that, let me know <laughs> and I'll uh, share the link. Um, because I don't think it's on my own channel. Um, and so you can see if you press L, it selects everything as a whole. So you do have to do some work to, uh, if you want to edit this, because what it does is uh, the texture, let me show you, um, it, it does that. So it has, you see, all the different types of little textures on there. And so all of the grass ones are on the grass and all of the, um, the uh, like the stone is on the stone and you know, you get it. Um, so if you wanted to do your own, you would just delete that and then go into texture paint and go and create a texture. Um, I'm just going to do it this size for now. Let's do it white so you can see. Or how about a brown tan type? Yeah, so we select that. You can see the UVs, they're just in that corner, you know, because it was only like a few of the things. So if you try to paint it, it might be okay depending on I mean I think it's more of a hassle see I'm trying to paint on it and you might like it like that and it might work for you but if if you want to you know be more detailed you're gonna have to unwrap it and uh, you probably have to watch some videos on how to unwrap it And then I'm going to go ahead and just cut to what it, mine looks like in the end. Okay, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and save the image. And to be honest, you can see my UVs in the background, but um, let me go ahead and save this. Um, I wouldn't really do it this way. I mean, this works for, you know, for what I'm, how I'm doing it. But I would probably use my model as a base and then work around it. Um, let's go ahead and, like, this is what mine looks like. Let's go ahead and export it, and then I'm going to bring it into Small Game Builder. Oh, one thing I do got to do is bring this down to there, and then go ahead and uh, let me go over to the side view and move it over. Yeah, it's in center. So let's go ahead and change the... Let's go... 
sure everything's okay. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, what I do want to do is go into the object and set the origin to 3D cursor. So now it's sitting on the ground. And now we can go ahead and file export to FBX. And I'll go ahead and save it and then I'll open up the game engine and import it so you can see it. Okay, I went ahead and rescaled it and made it a little bigger and then uh, just put down two of them and put some of the blocks up and let's go ahead and play the level and there you go. Now you can make it bigger or smaller however you want to do it but that's pretty much it. Might zoom in on the camera here. So we can see it a little better, tilt it, and let's look at it one more time. And there you go. So yeah, hope you guys learned something, and I'll catch you guys next time.